you hear a hollow thud, we will have found what we seek. Four. Four. Full. Full. Four. This one's full too. I feel like they're all gonna be full. Full. Looks like all the barrels are full. Dead end, I'm afraid. Full they are. The question is, are they full of Sandria? Grab a tap and a hammer. We shall open them one by one and taste. Ah. Wooden hammer for tapping barrels. I suppose that's an idea. Got the taps. Then get to work. Let's approach those barrels. Step aside. Uh, sure. Uh, help yourself. Can you pull a full glass, Emma? So? Mm, I'd recognize this taste anywhere. This one is good. Tasting. Revolting, bitter, plonk. Could have gone sour while watching. Impossible. This is not wine. This is contaminated refuse that should never have been like a body. The fact that it did was no accident. I'm sure. Or being led along the chase, man. Let's see what he has to say about it. Did you break open the ball? I want to know, or the, the barrel. Master Fabrizio, I am very disappointed. But your grace, I, I... You are a step away from losing your head. Speak the truth and you might yet keep it. Your wine. I, I, I admit it. I, I I sold a barrel of Sorial. I beg you to forgive me. Why did you do it? I couldn't resist. The sum they offered it was enormous. I gave in. Is what I provide not enough? I wished to buy back my family's estate. For here, nothing is truly mine. I have a roof over my head, ample food to eat, but what is a nobleman without land of his own? I shall tell you everything if you agree to show me mercy. Who do you sell the wine to? A few weeks passed at the pheasantry, a rich nobleman approached me. He called himself a diplomat, well-connected at court. He suggested we embark on an enterprise. Some of his clients had offered dizzying sums for even a drop of Sonreal. He was to serve as intermediary. Well, this fucking wine snob suck, dude. He never refused it. He was tall, black-haired, and spoke with a foreign lilt. He claimed to hail from Sintra. I've no Sintrian aristocrat at court. Really thought nobody'd find out. I was a fool, very foolish. I beg you, Your Grace, you must forgive me. Wine itself, how do you hand it over? We met under the cover of darkness in the ruins of Fort Astre. A dozen or so men came to collect. Armed men. The kind that stink of trouble. I had hauled the barrel there. They transferred it to their cart, and we went our separate ways. That's it? That the last you ever saw of them? They... That is to say, a, a few days passed. A, 
a messenger arrived. He said they wished to buy another barrel and, well, I've prepared it. Have it ready to deliver. That's enough. I know all we need to know. Your Grace, I beg your forgiveness. Get out of my sight. Captain, have your men take Master Fabricio to the dungeon. He must answer for his crime. High treason the charge. What now, Witcher? Never sell wine we set without our permission ever we again. Catch the wine thieves. Sintria Noble could be our blackmailer. <laughs> Next, transport. I'll take it to Fort Astra. Well, I'm too serious about the wine situation. Once I agree with you. We will do as you say. Let me know when you are ready. Let's go. Ahead. See no reason to wait. Let's get going. We will set out now. Position ourselves before you arrive. You take the cart and meet us there. Fine. When the handoff begins, watch for my signal. He's the most suspicious looking dude out of everybody to drive the cart. I should've just got some Joe Blow who's good at driving. The most famous man in the world just fucking driving this cart. button's not working here. Oh, my X button. Very interesting bug there. I guess all I need is the X button. I'm sure to have a little extra though. I think that comes back in the cutscene. What, are we just supposed to check out the chest and figure out where they went from there? We're not gonna like, interview anybody. Is it just me, or did we agree you'd wait for my signal? That was the plan, but... Great shot. Good thing you reacted. Can't say how that would have ended otherwise. At your service. It was a good fight. We managed to capture one of the scoundrels. Let's ask him a few questions. Of course. Come on. Witcher, a moment. Hopefully he wasn't one of the common idiots. I was wrong about you. Well, had no reason to trust me, and I didn't do much to change that. True. You are not the most endearing of men. At any rate, I see the effort you put forth. And I appreciate it. Let us go to her grace. Good. She I'm waits more stupid fucking idiot. Huh? Not at all surprised. Expected she'd want to oversee this personally. The master's eye fattens the calf. You're beginning to understand that. Hopefully that would be great for just broke this prisoner and dumbasses. Bring him to me. We must ask him some questions. <laughs> what is she gonna torture him, dude? 
Got an arrow in his fucking heart, for God's sake. Captain, do the honors. Who sent you? What if this is just an idiot? His name is Dog. They say he plowed your mother. <laughs> Once again, who sent you? Your nun's lover. They call him. Wait. He doesn't wish to speak. He needn't. I can think of several other ways he can be helpful. I'm certain the Witcher will need bait to lure the beast of Beauclair. What? what? The professor. Sure can. Fresh out. In that case, he's all yours. Captain, have your men find me a strong rope. Mm, kind of scare this snap dude. when we hang this fellow from a tree. R rope? Live bait. Great for monsters, provided they catch the scent of its blood. But I'll see to that. What? No. Cracky, no! Don't let him! Stop screaming. Save your strength. Got a long night ahead of you. No, don't let him! I I'll talk! <laughs> Figure we were trying to get him to talk here. Barrels. Where were you gonna take them? I don't know. Captain, need that rope after all. I truly don't know. Hornet's the leader, only he ever knew where to go. But he lies over there. That's dead. the problem, that we shouldn't one. have killed him. The first barrel went to a warehouse at the port. But where this one was bound, I don't know. I, I speak Traps looking all pointy be. there. Who hired you? He, he'll kill me. Ought to be worried about me right now. Who is he? Look into my glasses. Man, spit it out. The Cintrian. That is what they call him. I've never seen him, but I know he mustered the man for this caper. That's what they said, that we were working for the Cintrian. I don't know anything else. I swear it. Take him away. Throw him in the dungeon. He shall await trial there. Captain, we ride to town. <sighs> Maybe, uh, Gather take the arrow out or bandage him up. Someone else must have seen him. Must know of him. Yes, your grace. I'll report to the palace as soon as I learn anything. I shan't return to the palace. Our mission has not yet ended. The Witcher and I will await you at the guard post near the port. Let's go to town. Nice and non-stop, ma'am. <laughs> Sitting down. They always have a bunch of cool cam angles and people in different positions and shit. It does a lot for a cut. Relax, he'll come. For an engine ship. I'd like to know. How can you be so damned calm? Side effect of my mutations. We witchers rarely get the jitters. What if something has happened to him? Captain seems like a man who can take care of himself. Perhaps he can, but this Cintrian appears to be no common bandit. He managed to steal ducal wine from under my godsman's noses. We only learned of it through a fortunate coincidence. And it was he who specified the victims for the vampire. One must be exceptionally confident to blackmail such a monster. All right. Still don't know this Cintrian's behind the kidnapping and blackmail. Might have just handled the theft of the wine. Even if it's so, he then sold the wine to the blackmailers. As I see it, that makes him an accomplice. Need to find the Cintrian, whether or not he's responsible for the murders. Right. Even if none of it's his doing. You guys notice the booty? Identity. No accident. Besides, it's one thing to know who ordered the killings. Other thing entirely and just as important is why they... Someone's coming. Captain, why so long? We expected you hours ago. 
This Centrium does not work alone. We are fighting an organization, not one man. Bandits attacked us, not a small force either. One of my boys has a broken arm, another a shattered knee, lamed for life. And the word on the street is there's a hefty bounty on your head, Geralt. Used to it. Not the first time I've been hunted. Must you always? Now, the port warehouse <laughs> where the wine was delivered, we identified it, then learned who had hired it out. This proved to be a beggar, a stand-in. We found him. He admitted all. A man had paid him to sign the lease, a man he met while begging outside the pheasantry. There, fate lent us a hand. A waitress recalled spilling wine on a nobleman who spoke with a Cintrian accent. What did he look like? Her description was not helpful. Handsome, well-dressed, with a beard. No distinguishing marks. This could be anyone. But she remembered his female companion very well, as she recognized her. On the Cintrian's arm was Cecilia Bellant. A singer? I've heard of her. She said to be gifted, fairy. The same. We went to her home immediately. Cecilia was not there, but we questioned her servants. A chambermaid claimed Cecilia is to meet a Cintrian gentleman tonight. She'd invited him to a reception mounted by the Mandragora. The Mandragora? What's that? A club. An affiliation of local artists. Painters, sculptors, troubadours, what and What is artists. a troubadour? Never heard of it. Heard of that they quite often, but I don't mystic, know what it is. Consciously, I think. Behaving like an exclusive cabal. Artistic elites. Every now and again they mount soirees. Only wealthy patrons are invited. All arrive in elaborate masks, then drink and flirt. Gotta nab the Cintrian. Seems we have to go to that get-together. You read my mind, Witcher. I shall gather my men, surround the establishment. Not a mouse will squeeze through. Out of the question. If the Cintrian truly does have men about the city, he will find out and escape once mm -hmm. again. Gotta go and I saw right. Need to be careful. Best go there, blend in with the crowd. Precisely what we shall do. We, your grace. Geralt and I. In that sort of company, the Witcher could use my help. Where's the event going to be held? The Mandragora always assembles at the same place. A Who handles her political affairs while she's it's out fucking hunting down vampire distance. dudes? Geralt, you must don appropriate attire. Then meet me in Oatville, in Mountebank Alley. Put on clothes and a hundred uh inappropriate for the soiree. I mean where can I go to buy clothes like that, mum? Audacious rat, the Cintrian. But we'll get it. I don't really keep a whole lot of that on him. That witcher's rather handsome. Is that not this cur with the price on his head? Oh, 
the Y button doesn't work at all. That's amazing. What up, dude? Oh shit, I was just texting. Keep calm. You on the treadmill right now or something, my man? Or just finish up? Or go to spout his way to the hotel. Oh, wait, they're pointing us towards some clothes. Ah, that's what we're after. And we gotta take off the weapons. We can fit the weapons in our inventory, but we can't put them on our back, right? Yeah, dude, absolutely, mom. Going through the old The Witcher 3 expansion. Just doing the main story right now. Um, the idea of the plot right now is that I've been hired to go to some random duchy country area to, uh,. Find down a beast that's been killing all the people here. Or not all, a few people. Anyways, we've tracked them down and found out that it was like a vampire dude who's being blackmailed. So we're trying to find the guy who's uh, blackmailing him. A little more exciting than that. But we're about to go to a ball. Be undercover. Sacre bleu. It's a crime. You're from the north, that's painfully clear. Excuse me? There is no excuse. You look like shit. There is but the need to outfit you anew. Do look like fucking, uh... Open. Please, come in. That guy from Jackass, he was in Bad Boys too. Not Bad Boys, but, uh... Was it Bad Boys? Is that the name of it? All just aside, Michael something, was it Michael? Steve-O's counterpart. Sir. Remember the damn name. Up, Ripper. How are we doing, my man? Thanks. Ever your servant, sir. Some of these need to get repaired. So we could put them on, then go repair our ship. Got our own repairing stuff, but. Don't worry, nobody will notice here that fucking get up, man. Look at this bee, he's got a wolf mask, white fucking hair. Mmm. A delicious cold sponsor drink, man. Might go get me a little bit of, of the coke here. Getting near Don't the end of the day. Oh, <laughs> well, on it too. Now, from what they say, it seems like it's a little easier and a little more action. So I don't think it'll take forever. But we are pushing Octopath Traveler back. I was gonna do that right after this, but tomorrow I'm just gonna work on iTunes and YouTube and. Get as much as I can on that I'm done before La Milana, and then we're gonna try to be at the bleeding edge of that game. Maybe it won't take forever. I want to finish it before, uh. Monster Hunter. 
I seem to think it's shorter and that notes aren't as big a deal, so. Sure, it's still difficult. Yeah, I haven't really done much incline work. I always just try to push the uh, speeds and time and shit, but. I did a little incline. Uh, it's good for you, I'm sure. Okay, I up mine uh, 10 minutes today. Although my heart started hurting there after a bit, I had like a little pain there, so I, I ended up just walking the last like seven. Did a couple miles. Built up a pretty good sweat. Good. Buy your tickets now. We'll keep trying to do that. Shit's open a little later than I thought, but not terribly much. I'm gonna do something, I can't remember what it was. Oh, I'm gonna repair my shit. From me alone. Enter Duke Raymond's rules. Nothing to see here. Move along. But yeah, today they were, um, uh, I watched the live stream for La Milana too, and they're in the goddamn, uh, right at the end, they're like, oh yeah, it's coming out in fucking a day and a half. I'm like, whoa. So, that'll be a thing. Greetings. I hope your search goes well. Would you craft? Of course. Let's do a little repair. I'm gonna go grab a drink, take a quick piss. Jesus. Oh, do we not need any special gloves? <laughs> We're wearing our feline gloves right now. Just walk in with like full armored gloves, man. I'll be right back. I check the uh, calorie count right now. Let's see what all I can do. Too hungry. It'd probably be better to put down food instead of two glasses. Of coke. Jesus, man, I was gonna do some bread with my pork today, but fuck me, man. Man. I'm trying to remember the math for shit today. 140. 20, oh, I need to probably put down like 40 for sauce. Alright. Get back.
shit, I should've got some more water balls out. How long are you running for today, my dude? If you're still here. I guess you said you just kind of do it how you feel it. I don't know if you have like a general range. You know you're going to be digging that Llama Lana right there. They really seem like they're trying to make it easier. Or at least less tedious. I don't think it's going to be the same. I think it'll still be good, but not really a goal. Yeah, that's kind of the way I, I'm, I'm starting to be. Trying to be. Hey, the incline, man. Your legs are going to burn like fuck. My legs already burn a bit just from fucking running normally. I run like an asshole though. I'm, all, I'm I always actively try to like change my breathing and like how I run. If I run too much with my calves instead of lifting up with my thighs. I try to like pop myself up with my fucking feet too much. I try doing longer strides, but not like too long. And I find if I don't try to like keep like slower, like Steady breaths, I start getting erratic with my breathing and that starts going downhill. <clears throat> Sucks though. My right foot also like uh kind of shoots outwards a little bit, so I try to like correct that and like I try to do all these things to work on my running form and like leaning back and shit and it's just so many little issues, man. Still have PTSD from the first, uh, you tell me man. It was a good time though. Ah, damned bed bugs. Didn't sleep a wink. We can still do our thing if you want. I don't mind. <clears throat> if not, it'll be. Possibly a while after that, maybe in between Wait. Monster Hunter World and uh, well, Monster Hunter Generations. Me. Maybe just after that even, we'll see. I really don't think it's going to take over 100 hours though, like, <laughs> I'm a lot of one. The guy said it took like half the time for a lot of people, and they didn't even use like notes. So. I'm excited. Well, well. I did not expect you to have such a sense of Should have came when I just shit gear. My, my, Geralt. Not bad at all. And you've even a mask. Just not the kind required. Huh. They're a little different, the ones Mandragora members wear. <laughs> I brought you one. Okay. Put it on. That's good. Why do they wear the mask? Yeah, now he looks more masks. like Geralt, man. Likely because they imagine it oh so very romantic and mysterious. The truth is far simpler. This way, no one can tell which drunken aristocrats are pinching the performers. They like shit earlier. Yeah, that's a good motivator, man. Well, your heart explodes, man. We'll know where you are. We won't know that your heart exploded, but. Could leave a record of your last Let's words go. here. Swarry started. Mm -hmm. Wise of you to hide your weapons. They'd not have let us in otherwise. That's certain. Yeah, I just hid my fucking five foot sword, dude. Up his own ass. If you don't know the basic idea of The Witcher 2, um, a Witcher is a kind of person, I guess. Has been genetically mutated and gone through crazy like training and stuff that hardly anybody survives. And usually, how they become witchers, you know, is when they're kids and you know they get like kidnapped or like coerced or some shit. And so it's usually pretty shady. But anyways, they're like genetically engineered to be like monster killers, pretty much. I don't know if there's any other reason. Depends on the school they were raised at. <clears throat> He's raised at the wolf one, which is supposed to be the all-around school. Witchers are kind of on the out. 
Some people respect him, a lot of people end up hating him a lot just because they're like weird. But uh, he's a cool guy. He's a really cool character. Everybody likes Geralt outside random jackasses on the street. But it's kind of the idea. So you're like a super bioengineered monster hunter and uh, called Geralt. You know, the Rivia. This is the third game. First two games, I mean, I don't really know what happens in them, but. It's a mix of, you know, fantasy, medieval political shit, um, a little bit of everything. It was originally a book series, but uh, they've been adapting into games. They're taking a lot of liberties. Good stuff. And I kind of already explained what's happened in the expansion, so. Side quests are always really well written, like for for, for a side quest. He is not a your normal game. Need to ask after his partner, Good Cecilia stuff. first. Less likely to raise suspicions. As soon as we find her, we find him. So that's why he has like weird eyes and shit. Be expecting us. What do you mean? Ran into some of my thugs in town. Knew who I was. Had it in for me. Right, right you are. We must proceed with caution. Come. Oh, I should have got a haircut and shaved the beard, but whatever. Madame that was our rough Monsieur, going look. Not our clean look. Pleasure to welcome you to the Mandragora Soiree. Tonight, I particularly recommend you direct your attention to the performances prepared by artists of our community. Tell us about these performances. This evening. The Mandragora has the honor to present three superb displays of artistry. The first was a concert by Cecilia Belont, a singer whose voice, were it stone, for. would surely be a diamond. Sadly, Mademoiselle Cecilia has sung. Shame. You would have loved to hear her. Uh, luckily, you are in time to see the great Calesti, a master of visual illusions, come to us from far off Athir. Visual illusions? Interesting. And the third artist? Uh, the third and fourth, for they are a duo, are the Tuven brothers, presenting their newest pantomime. We were really hoping tits to tits randomly to bounce. It's really weird. Like a glitch. You are admirers, I surmise. I'm certain you will have ample opportunity to converse with her. It cannot be easy to identify anyone in this crowd. Perhaps you could help us find her. Hmm. I don't know where she is now, but I can give you a clue. Let's hear it. Seek the Kaviri Orchid. Meaning? Cecilia wears one in her hair. You shall recognize her easily by the orchid. Right. Well, well. Mandalion's always complaining about artists being poor as temple mice. Not in fucking French wine town here. The residence belongs to none of them. This expansion has its own here. map. Oriana, she owns this. Woman in the black. Quite a few maps in the game. Are the balcony. Got her. Regions. Doesn't wear a mask. It would be pointless. All would know her anyway. Come on, like girl. Let's look for My white-haired motherfucking cat-eyed dude here. We can take part in the entertainments. Big dick. It's too late now, though. Oh, 
or done it in like a order that wasn't stupid. Or... Or a deeply internalized fear. Where the hell are our other ones, man? Oh, there we go. Voila! Fuck! Now, allow me a moment to talk. My it's a piece of fucking shit. The painting depicts spiritual. With a kid shot out after fucking eating crayons. And even and defiance. <laughs> Oh yes, that's him, all right. Good versus evil. The dualistic nature of man. Jesus. And defiance. <clears throat> How about some fucking boots? Fucking absent. It packs a pretty powerful punch. I've built up a pretty powerful resistance. Need I remind you that neither did you. Some heavy hooch, man. Yeah, witchers also obviously along with the genetic mutations they get like you know crazy physical shit, including like resistance, like toxins and all that. <laughs> Strong man. Didn't see the rope there. Must be invisible artist rope. Check out I believe he's casting specs. More of the uh we'll see. bullshit here. The great Kalasti. Very tasty. What's the trick? That is no ordinary illusion. The man is a true artist. Mm -hmm. Impressive. Right. Yeah, yeah, woo woo, that like stock. Let's check out the rest of the fun stuff before we go on here. So I'm gonna the occasional study. Where are you? Later, dude. They say releasing and bring good Go hard, mom. Enjoy the tunes. Fine. Let's give it a try. Never suspected you believed in such things. Oh, I'm just watching the lantern go, baby. Don't worry about it. Boing! Drunkard. Blah, blah, blah. I want God smack on God. It's all about two things coin and copulation. My employer swears it. Besides, have you not heard the news? Anyone to me? If you are... Cecilia never should have performed. You should have. It seems someone decided otherwise. That someone knows nothing of true art. It shall be you next time. Trust me, I shall have a word with Oriana personally. Right. Never should have performed. 
But are you sure it's her? But are you sure? Please leave. This is a private alcove. A private alcove. Draw a curtain, man. Hello. Do not disturb. Shoo, shoo. It's the right flower. Of course it is. A Koviri orchid lends just the right contrast to her complexion. Need to talk to your model. It'll only take a minute. To me? Lie still. You may speak, but for love's sake, do not move. Wow. Impressive portrait. I know the style, the stroke. This is Dorian Villes. The gracious lady has heard of me? I... I've heard Anna Henrietta herself wished you to paint her portrait once. Ah, uh, at one point, the palace chamberlain even wrote to me, but, alas, ultimately refused my terms. What was the matter? When he learned I only ever paint nudes, he suffered all contact. He said he would not dare offend her illustrious highness with such a proposition. I've always longed to paint her such a shame. I think you may still get your chance. <laughs> we came here to meet you, specifically. To meet me? But... Why? Cintrian Noble you came here with. Wanted to ask you about him. Cintrian Noble? Ah! You must think I'm Cecilia. Orchid uh, confused me. I told you not to move! As she concluded her performance, Cecilia tossed the flower into the crowd. I caught it. But I did see the nobleman. Really liked to talk to him. What did he look like? Like many here. Tall, dark, hmm. masked. Know where he might be now? He gave Cecilia a small gift. A heart-shaped box. Then they strolled off together towards the refreshment tables. Excuse me, madame. Monsieur, I cannot work like this. You must leave now. <sighs> oh, the dude, man. Uh, lady? I think there's... I mean, I'm all about protecting your body from the rain, but... You must really care about her legs, man. The leg care, man. Silky smooth, but dry. Love letter penned on a napkin. Look. Looking far, man, dude. Oh, my amour, my sunbeam flittering across the firmament of my life. Treacly refuse. <laughs> Flask of perfume, a gift from the Cynthian, I imagine. Oh, he keeps it. In the air. Let's follow it. We can walk it.
the home and I just made a huge circuit. Sorry, only artists in the Mandragora allowed. Come, we must consider what to do. I... I'd recognize that voice anywhere. You... you must be mistaking me for someone else. I served 15 years in the palace. Your Grace, I'd not mistake you for anyone. Shh! Not so loud. We are here incognito. On state business. Yes, Your Grace. How may I serve? What does he do now? I can count on your discretion. Of course. I shall be silent as the grave. So it goes from being a fucking palace guard to a fucking bodybuilder for aristocrats and elitists. Elite artists. Looking for Cecilia. Elitist artists? Seen her. She's in her dressing room, where she went with a nobleman. They clearly were drawn to each other. What did the man look like? Tall, broad-shouldered, a black beard peeping out from under his mask, and he spoke with a foreign accent, a drawl of sorts. Mm. It must be him. We must get to the dressing room, quickly. Yes, Your Grace. I'll take you. No, stay here. Anyone tries to flee, you stop them. Understood. Quickly, upstairs. Hopefully he doesn't work with the enemy. That... That must be Cecilia. No pulse. We're too late. He... He slit her throat. The brute. Mm. Didn't go out the door. Guard would have noticed. Might still be somewhere here. You must find him before he harms another. I shall alert Oriana. At once. No, she should bring her to a close. Shouldn't split up. Yeah, really. Get up. I will be fine. Go after that rogue. I shall fetch help. Didn't split up, no matter how great you think you are. If he's still here, then you fucked. Tore down the door. Made a platform. Clever. Must be pretty strong, too. Doesn't seem like he's a vampire, for sure. Broke the flower pot when moving the door, then stepped in the soil. Must have climbed this ladder. Could still be here. Need to stay alert. Jewelry box. Box busted. Picked open, probably. Links of a snap chain. Jewel must have been on it. Hmm. Blood stains. Precious stone. Bloody fingerprint on it. Thief came for this. Must have. Tiny chain links next to it. I want to look in a mirror. A snapped necklace. Seems there was a struggle. Looks valuable, but it's not what he came for. Looks valuable, but it's not what he came but for. But it's what I came for, man. Sconce is bent, smeared with blood. Someone try to grab it. Canvas is cut. Somebody took a knife to the painting, looks like. Locked. No key in sight. Hunting knife. Richly ornamented. 
used during the fight, probably. Blood on the window frame. Someone climb out, fall out. Jewel was in the box, it seems. Centrion tried to steal it, but someone got in his way. They fought, struggled, that's clear. Ended with one of them flying out the window. Fall had to have killed them. Jewel's still here, though, so our Centrion must have been the flyer. So, this is the tracker. A witcher, yes? Indeed, this is him. Mm. We found the body together. Then we set people. off in pursuit of the killer. And ended up here, but I've only found evidence of a fight. Seems the Centrians killed his last. Finally failed this time. Shame it happened too late for Cecilia. Poor girl. Always told her she chose her males badly. But I would never have suspected she could arrive with a murderer. I'll alert the staff. Have them see to her body at once. Meanwhile, we should sit. I will tell you everything in full detail. Who is this? They're not going to check for somebody who got thrown out in the window? I caught him red-handed, attempting to burgle, rifling through my possessions. What did you do? Summon the guards? Oh, there was no time. I feared he'd escape, refused to give him the chance. He stood with his back to me, so I attacked. He struck his head on a picture frame as we struggled. He was bleeding, dazed, and then he drew a knife. Everything happened very quickly then. I knocked the weapon out of his hand and pushed him hard. He fell out of the window. Just so. I mean... There are signs of shit happening throughout that entire room, then. None too wise picking a fight with an armed robber. Why? Because I'm a woman, in a frock rather than plate. I can take care of myself, I assure you. A hairpin might look like mere ornament, but plunged into an eye, it can be as effective as a blade. We get it. You're badass. Claim the man was trying to rob you when you walked into the room? Yes. He stood over my dressing table, pouring through my jewelry. Mm -hmm. After this is my guess. Picked it up while searching. Why, that's the heart of Toussaint. Oriana, how did you ever come to have it? I bought it, many years ago, from a young woman. Jewel seems important. Why? The heart is an heirloom. It belonged to my family for years. Then it disappeared. I didn't think we would ever recover it. Seems someone is very determined to find it. The thief left his tool bag behind. Found this drawing inside it. Look. This dude really that fucking... Bad at his job? He's gotta be hired by somebody else. The heart of Toussaint. Representation's pretty faithful. Centrion must have been on a job. Got very clear instructions what to look for. So... So it is not him we seek, but his employer. Is this the only evidence we found? Also happened on the weapon he attacked Oriana with. Hunting knife. Used to skin game. Got an emblem on its hilt. This crest is used by the Lords of Duntime. The present master of the castle is a passionate hunter. Our next lead, perhaps. Done time. Remember the place. Abandoned ruin just a Some few years ago. Some fucking shoddy work, man. Recently, the family's last heir, Roderick. Who comes to a robbery with shit that, that leads them to the somebody else? Don't know any more about this Roderick? His grandfather was an advisor to Queen Ademarta. The family received those lands as a grant. I feel like it's all service. kind of a setup. Roderick is quite the recluse. Somebody's he really bad at the job. Which preferring the company of a small team of knights. Kind of silly. Though the latter term is imprecise, as they seem more amateur shit right now, man. On their shields. Can't beat this bitch up, fucking. Can't 
Can't beat her up, but he manages to rip off a door. Just to walk across something. And then he's got a fucking dagger from some family. Maybe we're just setting up families. We can arrest them. Because she arrested that last, last dude. Oriana, everything we discussed here, hope you'll keep it to yourself. Counting on it, in fact. Word gets out he uh, failed in his attempt to steal the jewel. His employer could run. We need to proceed cautiously. Discretion is in the interest of us all. I'll not ask what this is about, just as I expect not to be troubled about it again. By anyone. <clears throat> Forgive me, Madam Oriana, but might I have a word? You must excuse me a moment. Oriana, any thoughts? Few make me feel awkward, but in her presence, I sense anxiety, discomfort. The drawing. It's on the same type of paper the victim's names were written on. Drawn with the same ink, too. Seems the work of our blackmailers. They were not only behind the beast's murders, but also stole the Son Real and sought to steal the heart of Toussaint. Look, the wine, the jewel, both tied to you intrinsically. Coincidence? Not something I'm willing to believe. Worried about one thing. That somewhere at the end of this scheme, plan might call for an attempt on your life. It... it could be something else altogether. Her sister or something? I'm expecting she's got a sister and that vampire's wife is... A girl is what he's looking My for. My sister, Siana, might be among the schemers. God. She Not left lot. court when we were children. Bitch. My parents banished her from the duchy. I've not seen her since. What did your sister do to get banished? Siana was... cursed. Parents run afoul of some mage? No. She was born at an inopportune moment. They said she was touched by the curse of the Black Sun. Mm. Gerhot, is it true? Can an individual be evil because they were born during the wrong lunar phase? Could be the case. Could also be because they were treated like lepers from birth. Isolated, prodded, ostracized. Couldn't have had it easy, Siana. Not really. She... She was angry at the whole world. She felt inferior, felt pain. Though she masked this with confidence, arrogance even. She could also be cruel at times. I recall one such situation. She persuaded Cedric the Coolbert that she could see the future in her dreams. We were children. And Cedric's brother was smitten with me. It was an innocent childhood crush. Siana knew of it. She told Cedric of a dream she had had. That he would die at the hands of his own brother. Cedric stole his father's sword and killed his brother. She destroyed two lives with a prank. Cedric mourns to this day. <sighs> In the end, they forced her to leave the palace. A decade passed. More. I've missed her terribly since. Think your sister might be involved? Why? You see, I recall her always being rather possessive, throwing jealous fits if I had something she didn't. Here, yeah, that's normal for sisters. Rivalry. True. I suppose I gave as good as I got. There are times I miss that very much. The wine, its theft was the first clue. That's very much like her. She always did enjoy stealing my toys. But I grew almost certain when I saw the heart of Toussaint. Siana received it from father as a gift. At a time when my parents thought of her as but an ill-behaved little girl, someone wanted some of my wine. The same someone ordered our family jewels stolen, or recovered. It's my sister. It must be. 
A fallen princess satisfying whims, going after lost luxuries? Hmm, could be right. Your mission has gained new import. You must go to Dun Tyne, and if Siana is there, you must find her. No matter what she did, she is not to be harmed in any way, shape, or form. You must make sure of that. I'll find her if she's there. I hope you do. I very much wish to talk to her, sister to sister. Your Grace, Geralt, I'd like to introduce... Regis! What a surprise! I had no idea you were in Beauclair. <laughs> and this is... Uh, my very dear friend, Detlaf van der Erite, an arrival from Nazaire. We are lending our combined resources to the Witch's Hunt. Ah, yes. Splendid. But why are you here at Oriana's? They came to pay me a surprise visit, so I invited Regis in for a glass of wine. We've known each other for... Ooh, ages. Literally. That's how she found out she's a vampire. I hear you know Regis too. Even that you are friends. Few I can rely on like I can on Regis. Kinda hoping he thinks the same of me. Curious. It seems opposites really do attract. Don't be fooled, dear. Geralt has many merits. He merely hides them from the world very diligently. Mm -hmm. You said you're both aiding him with his contract. It involves the Beast of Beauclair, I suspect. Master Witcher, maybe you could satisfy my curiosity. What's it like going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a monster, knowing you've only two options, to kill or be killed? Despite what you might have heard, I don't lunge at every monster I see, sword in hand. Talking gets the job done for some. Hmm. I wonder what a monster might have to say to you. It might want to apologize. My word. But what might the monster wish to apologize to a witcher? For killing. Though at times there is no choice when loved ones are at risk and require protection. Same as humans. Put them in that situation, they'll kill too. You understand this. It must be why you and Regis are friends. If I understand you correctly, you would rather help a monster than kill it. If possible, yeah. Or at least try. Enough about the Witcher trait for now. Regis mentioned you come from Death. the dead. I spent time there as a child. Fond memories? It was wonderful. I was positively entranced by the land's fashions. The deep-cut dresses I found most fascinating. I believe you're running short on wine. I should go to the cellar, bring another bottle. Let me go. When I help Regis, know your wine a lot better than I know mine. We shall return forthwith. Mm -hmm. An exceptional conversation, don't you think? Vampires, a witcher, and the Duchess of Toussaint. My, my. We were there. The, the Duchess. Wanted to talk to you in private. You crazy bringing Detloff here? Geralt, uh, allow me to explain. No, let me explain. He's dangerous, and you are going to watch him. But that is precisely what I'm doing. Detloff believes you'll succeed in your task, and he'll not need to kill anymore. That is, not until he gets his hands on the men who kidnapped his Renner. Oriana, she really your friend? Can she be trusted? Uh, I met her years ago, before I met you, and before she settled in Beauclair. We'd not seen one another in... Uh, oh, uh, I can't begin to tell you in how long. But I shall tell you all about her some other day. Uh, guessing it's no accident you two stopped by. It would be quite some coincidence indeed. No, a dutiful little bird told us. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now listen close. Manage to learn where the blackmailers are. They're based at Duntine Castle. That's splendid news. If they are there, Renna must be there as well. Duchess expects we'll find her long-lost sister there too. Thing is, she might be involved. 
could be behind the blackmailing. Do you mean to say your task now is to extract two women from the castle? Mean to the say same we can't read the word of this to Dedloff, who wants revenge above all else. Geralt, you must trust me. I've got a way with... No, Regis. Can't risk it. Gotta keep Dedloff here while I go to Duntine. Alone? Alone. That way I can make sure neither woman will come to any harm. I hope you know what you're doing. Fine. I shall see to Detlaf. Good luck, my friend. Hopefully they don't want to kill the... Splendidly, Detlaf. Ah, oh, I'm grateful you Duchess. brought back those memories. You're back. It took you long enough. Contrary to what common folk believe, choosing a wine is not nearly as easy as it might seem. Especially a wine to be served to two exquisite ladies. Regis, gallant as ever. I regret all the more that I shan't finish this second bottle with you. Duty calls. Your grace, always a pleasure. I thank you for your help. It's been invaluable. Geralt, will you see me out? Curious to hear their conversation, man. Jesus. You have exceptional friends. This Detlaf, an intriguing man to say the least. Don't know him too well. He say much about himself? Not much, but I've a good sense of the true nature of those I meet. I'd not survive a week at court otherwise. So what's his? Sensitive, sad. He carries within him the weight of a terrible tragedy. He is a good man, but lost, which is why he comes across as grim. Jesus. Didn't expect the evening to end like this. Neither did I. But I have not drawn you out for a romantic stroll. I wish to make certain you know what you are to do. Mm hmm. Gotta go to Duntine. I've decided my guardsmen will support you. You will meet them at Count Lacroix's mill. It stands along the San Retour River, near the Cockatrice Inn. Oh, good Captain reason. de la Tour and his men will await you there at midnight. You shall storm the castle together. Weapons back. Let's go ahead and get it all back on. Most importantly, the shades of justice. 